Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Emma. Thank you so much for being here and for practicing with me. This is a shorter class. It's an express flow. So I'm going to make sure we jump right into things, not to waste any time. Um, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will let you give it until the end of class uh, to make sure you like this class. Uh, but if you do like it, make sure you hit that, that subscribe button as that is super helpful for me and my channel. With that being said, let's just go ahead and jump right into things. I do not want to waste your time since this is a shorter class. Let's start in a standing forward fold near the top of your mat. Now, bring your feet out nice and wide, bend your knees generously, and let your head hang heavy. You could always put some blocks underneath your hands. You can bend your knees as much as you need to. So even if it feels more like a squat than a fold, that's totally fine. Especially if it's early in your day and you haven't had a lot of movement yet, this is going to feel pretty sticky, pretty tight on your hamstrings. So make sure to be gentle with yourself. Feel free to grab opposite elbows and maybe sway a little bit side to side. If you're just starting your day out as well, it might feel nice to clasp your hands behind your head. That helps to tuck your chin in towards your throat and feel a little bit more length through your upper back, your cervical spine. Eyes closed is great. Turn your attention a little bit inwards. See if you can draw your breath all the way up your spine, breathing towards your tailbone. And exhale, emptying completely. If you've got a grip, switch which thumb or which forearm is on top. Start to squeeze your thigh muscles a little bit more, especially your upper thighs where they meet your hips. Roll your weight a little bit more forward. Flip your tailbone up towards the ceiling. Release your hands to the mat. Bend your left knee, put your left hand down and reach your right arm up. Make a fist, roll out your wrist. And then move your right arm around at the shoulder joint. Big circles. Right arm can stay reaching up or half wrap. Lean a little bit to the left as you expand your chest for three, two, one. Release and switch. Right hand, replace left. Bend your right knee. Reach your left arm up. Make a fist. Roll out your wrist. And then move your left arm around at your shoulder joint. Big circles. Left arm reach up or half wrap. Expanding your chest. Maybe looking up at the ceiling. And release, left hand down. Let's go toes out, yogi, squat, drop your seat. You could always just come halfway down. Elbows, press your knees away. Feel free to sit on a block. Scoop your tailbone underneath you. Knit your ribs in and lift through the back of your skull. You'll feel a gentle tuck of your chin. Put your hands behind you and drop down to a seat. Bring your shins out parallel to the mat for Navasana, boat pose. Extend your arms forward and then plug your shoulders back. For more, straighten your legs. Think about pressing your low back in, broaden across your chest and collarbones. Take some rounding out of your lower back, your middle back. Squeeze your lower abs for three, two, Slowly lower all the way down onto your back. And once you get there, take a big stretch, arms overhead. Point your toes and lengthen. Hug both knees into your chest. And then draw some circles with the knees away from each other. And the other direction. Knees into your chest, grab behind your hamstrings and rock up and down your spine. A few times, let's say four or five. After your last one, cross over your ankles and we'll meet in a tabletop. Shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Take your time getting there. Once you do get to your tabletop, use your next inhale breath to arch your back and look up at the ceiling. Use your exhale to round your spine and press your palms through the mat. 
Again, inhale, arch back, look up. Exhale, round spine, press the tops of your feet down. Let's do three more. Any other movement that feels good. From your tabletop, neutral spine, tuck your toes, start to lift your hips up and back to downward facing dog. You can continue moving around, like pedaling your legs, shaking your head out. Squeeze your leg muscles from your thighs. All right, finding some stillness in your downward facing dog, really engage your legs. Imagine splitting your mat in half. Hollow out your armpits. I think down dog should be a active pose, not a resting pose. I, I feel like some teachers might disagree, but you should really be squeezing your legs, lifting your hips up, lengthening your arms and knitting your ribs in. Let's go inhale, right leg up, bend your knees, stack your hips and move it around a bit. Take an inhale, square off your hips. Exhale, step your right foot forward. Drop your back knee to the mat and reach both arms up. Cactus your arms and roll out your shoulders a few times. Lean back on your next inhale, squeeze your left glute. Exhale, half splits. Hands on the mat, pull your toes back towards your face. Rebend into your right knee, put your hands on the mat and step back, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Firm your thighs, exhale back, downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up behind you, bend your knee, stack your hip. Move it around a little bit. Press evenly into your palms. Left leg up, big inhale, exhale, step forward. Take your time, there's no rush. Drop your back knee and reach both arms up. Cactus arms, you might like to roll out your shoulders again a few times and curl back. Squeeze your right glute, press your spine in towards your heart. And half splits, hands on the mat, pull your toes back towards your face. Maybe even grabbing your toes for three, two, one. Rebend your left knee, put your hands on the mat, step your left foot back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra, and exhale back to downward facing dog. Hopefully you're already building a little heat in your body. Feel some space between your shoulders. Relax your jaw, soften the muscles in your face. Lift your heels and look forward. Step, or if you're ready, jump to the front of your mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Rise all the way up to stand, reach both arms up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center and down by your side. Inhale, reach both arms up and lean back. Squeeze your legs, lengthen your waist. Exhale, fold, empty. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, step back or jump back, chaturanga. Push all the air out and then inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, roll over your toes, downward facing dog. Your gaze can be back at your feet or up towards your belly button, wherever you feel less tension on your neck. Bump your heels out slightly, hide them behind your ankles. Firm your thighs, you'll feel your inner thighs go back. Like you're trying to press the thigh bones and the shin bones back behind you. Lift your heels, look forward, step or jump to the front of your mats. Inhale, halfway, exhale, fold. Rise all the way up, big reach through your arms. Exhale, hands to your hearts and down by your side. 
Bend your knees, Utkatasana, chair pose. Reach both arms up. Relax your shoulders. Sit back a little bit more into your heels. Let's go into a toe stand. Bring your hands to heart center. Lift your heels up. Start to drop your seat towards your heels. Hug your uh, inner thighs in towards each other, ankle bones in towards each other. If you need, hands can go to mat or blocks. Pull your belly button back. And then bring your knees out, Malasana. If Malasana doesn't feel good, grab another yogi squat. For Malasana, try to get your big toes to touch and heels to touch. Heels a little closer to the mat. Your arms can walk forward, or you might walk your arms back, palms face up, like you're gonna drop back and take a seat into your hands. Hold here and breathe for three, two, one, if you're in Malasana, let's actually go forearms to the mat. Try to step your feet back one at a time to a forearm plank. Shoulders over elbows. Scoop your tailbone towards your heels. Feel some space between your shoulders. And then drop your hips down for Sphinx Pose. Pull your chest forward and plug your shoulders back. Squeeze your legs and feel your kneecaps lift. Slowly lower your chest down, slide your hands back and roll up, cobra pose. Exhale, we'll meet back in downward facing dog. Take an inhale, prepare. Exhale, step your right foot forward towards your thumb. Spin your left heel down and rise up, warrior one. Hips square to the front of your mat, plug your right hip back. Drive your left hip a little forward, take an inhale, look up at your hands. Exhale, skandasana at the back of your mat. Bend deeply into your left knee and flex your right toes. If that's not accessible, grab a side lunge with all 10 toes pointing to the long edge of your mat and the hands on the mat. Either way, you're getting a stretch through your inner right thigh. On your next inhale, put your hands down and lift up halfway. So like wide leg fold, straight legs, halfway lift. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, press into your feet, rise all the way up to stand. Reach your arms up and press your palms together. Exhale to the back of your mat, warrior two. Feel your hip points lift, your ribs tuck in. Flip your left palm and reverse warrior. Reach your left arm up and back. On your exhale, windmill your right hand down as you roll onto your right toes and reach your left arm up. Now, drop your back knee and reach both arms up to a low lunge on Janayasana. Relax your shoulders, squeeze your inner thighs towards each other. Exhale, put your hands on the mat, tuck your right toes, swing your left leg up behind you. Bend your left knee, stack your hips, stay there or flip it over, wild thing. Left foot gently step behind, hips to the sky. All right, left hand down, step your left foot forward. We're doing the same thing on the other side. Spin your right heel down and rise up, warrior one. You're now facing the back of your mat, warrior one with your left foot forward. Take an inhale, look up at your hands. Exhale, skandasana to the front of your mat, bend your right knee. Your left toes either point up or take a side lunge. Either way, feel a stretch through your inner left thigh. Next inhale, halfway lift, straight legs. Exhale, fold in, squeeze. Press into your feet, rise all the way up, look up to the front of your mat, warrior two. Flip your right palm in reverse, warrior. Exhale, windmill your left hand down, roll onto your left toes, so you're in a runner's lunge twist. Right arm reach up, stack your shoulders, drop your back knee and reach both arms up. Melt your hips towards the front of your mat. Put your hands on the mat, tuck your back toes, swing your right leg up behind you. Bend your knee, stack your hips, stay there or flip it, wild thing. Hips to the sky for three. Strong left shoulder, two. One, flip it back around. We're going into round two. Right foot step forward, warrior one, inhale. Exhale, skandasana at the back of your mat. Straight legs, halfway lift, inhale, forward fold, exhale. 
Rise all the way up, star pose, big reach. To the back of your mat, warrior two. Reverse warrior, breath in. Twisting at the back of your mat, breath out. Drop your back knee. You can reach both arms up or your left hand can find the back of your right thigh as you reach your right arm up and lean back. Exhale, both hands on the mat. Tuck your right toes, three leg dog, left leg up. Knee bend, hip stack, stay there or flip it for three. Two. One, bring it back around, left foot step. Inhale, warrior one. With the pace of your breath, exhale, skandasana. Inhale, halfway lift, straight legs. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up to the front of your mat, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, windmill it down for a twist. Front of your mat. Drop your back knee, one arm, or just the left arm reach up. Maybe right hand to the back of your left thigh, curl back. Exhale, both hands to the mat. Sweep your right leg up, three leg dog. Knee bend, hip stack, stay there, or flip for three. We'll take this sequence through one more time, two. And one, right hand down, step your right foot to your thumb. Warrior one, last time, big inhale. Skandasana at the back, exhale. Halfway lift, straight legs. Forward fold. Rise all the way up, look up at your hands. To the back of your mat, warrior two. Reverse warrior. Exhale, twisting, right hand down at the back of your mat, spin onto your right toes. Drop your back knee, both arms or just the right arm reach up and lean back. Exhale, hands down, three leg down dog, left leg up. Bend your knee, stack your hips, stay there, flip it or maybe almost flip it. Just try to float your left toes from the mat. It's actually a lot harder for three, two, one. Step your left foot forward and come up warrior one. Last time, exhale, skandasana at the front. Straight legs, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Rise all the way up, big reach. To the front, warrior two. Flip your palm and reverse. Exhale, windmill your left hand down, twist. Drop your back knee, find a low lunge, one arm, left or both arms reach up. Exhale, windmill your hands down. Right leg sweep up behind you. Bend your knee, stack your hip. Stay there or flip it, maybe almost flip it. So you go to step back, but you float your toes. Three, two, one. Right hand down, chaturanga. Let's meet back in a downward facing dog. Whew, that was a lot all at once with no rest. Take a big breath in, open mouth sigh. Again, big breath in, let it go. Walk your hands all the way back to your feet. Take your peace sign fingers and grab your big toes. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pull yourself forward. Firm your thighs. Roll your weight a little forward. Elbows out and a little bit back. Feel space between your shoulders. Squeeze your low belly. The more you squeeze there, the easier it will be to fold. Three. Neck relax. Two. And one. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, slide your hands underneath your feet. Palms face up. Work your toes towards your wrist crease. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. Imagine trying to slide your hands out from under your feet. Roll your weight a little bit more forward. Imagine flipping your tailbone up towards the sky. Little bend in the knees if this is too much on your hamstrings. Continue to roll your weight forward. 
Shoulders up away from ears. Soften the muscles behind your eyes. Three. Two. One. Release that. Bring your hands to your waist. Flat spine rise all the way up. Keep your left hand at your waist. Lift your right leg up in front of you. Peace sign finger, grab the big toe or grab your knee. Plug your right shoulder back. Like you're trying to twist your torso a little to the right. Take a big inhale. Exhale, right leg out to the right with your big toe or your knee. Scoop your right hip a little bit under your left. Now under your left, I guess. Try to get your hips in one line. Right hip wants to lift up a little bit higher, so drop it down a bit. Bring your right leg back in front of you. Reach your arms up. Float your leg for three, two, one. Right foot down and hands by your side. All right, right hand to your waist. Bring your left leg up in front of you. Grab your knee or your big toe. Extend your left leg forward. The left shoulder and hip both want to go forward. Can you plug those back? Like you're twisting a little bit to the left. Inhale, exhale, left leg out to the left. The left hip wants to lift a bit. Can you scoop it back underneath? Strong right leg, squeeze your left oblique. Hold here, breathe, three, two, one. Left leg out in front of you. Reach both arms up and float it for three. Shoulders forward, low belly firm, two, one. Left foot step to meet right. Bring your hands to your low back. Gently nudge your hips forward, scoop your tailbone down, and then lean back. Feel a nice length through the front of your body, weight to your heels. Inhale up, and exhale, fold forward. Walk your hands all the way forward to a high plank position, and slowly lower all the way down onto your belly. Once you're onto your belly, extend your arms back, palms down, thumbs out. Next, inhale, lift chest and arms up off the mat. Gentle tuck of your chin, feel some length through the back of your neck. Firm your glutes, press your pubic bone down. Bind your hands behind your back, think knuckles towards your heels. Lift your legs up off the mat and try to get your feet to touch. You'll feel your inner thighs, your glutes, even maybe your low back working quite a bit. Stay here or bend your knees, reach back for your feet. Don your asana, floor bow, squeeze an imaginary block between your knees. Point or flex your feet, just make sure they're active. Gaze wherever feels best on your neck for three. Inner thighs, squeeze, two, and one. Gently release that. Hands under shoulders, roll up, cobra pose. Exhale back to child's pose. Knees out nice and wide, forehead down. Allow your lower back to settle. Find your breath if you've lost it. Let's inhale, come up, tabletop. Slide your right knee up behind your right wrist. Kick your ankle across for a pigeon pose. Left leg long behind you. You might stay upright or come down onto your forearms. If you'd like to put a block or bolster under your right hip, go for it. Press down through the top of your left ankle. Maybe even walk your hands forward. Or if you want to twist, you can thread your left arm underneath, like thread the needle. It's a little challenging for me with the mic, so you want your left arm kind of directly underneath. You might use your right forearm as a pillow. Breathing into that outer right hip. Welcome the discomforts. Watch it dissolve. Slowly start to unwind if your left arm is underneath. Walk your hands back underneath your shoulders. Roll onto your right hip and swing your left leg around for Janu Shirshasana. Bottom of the right foot to the inner thigh. Reach your arms up and exhale, fold over your left leg. 
Think about dropping your right side torso, right armpit a little bit. And lift yourself back up. All right, bend your left knee. Bring the right knee in towards the bottom of your left foot. So kind of like a mermaid pose-ish. Your left knee is bent, bottom of the right foot at the inner left, or at the bottom of your left foot. And then your right toes are kind of pointing back. All right, makes sense. From here, put your left hand behind you. Reach your right arm up and over. So you feel a nice, gentle twist. And then we're gonna sweep the right arm across. Right hand kind of behind your right hip, reach your left arm up. The right elbow is bent a bit. And I just want you to go side to side a few times. So left hand behind left hip, reach your right arm up and over. And then put your right hand behind your right hip, reach your left arm up and over. A few more times, left hand down. And right hand down. All right, back up through center. Shift the weight forward and just extend your right leg more back behind you for pigeon pose on the left side. Now you might take your block and put it under your left hip. You might press the top of your right ankle down a little bit more. Come down as much as you'd like, maybe into that twist. Right arm threads through, use your left forearm or hand as a pillow. Feel the discomfort, kind of lean into that. Pain you wanna back off, discomfort, that's what we want, lean in. If you are in that thread the needle variation, slowly start to unwind your left, right arm. Walk your hands back and roll onto your left hip. Swing your right leg around for Janu Shirshasana. Bottom of the left foot to the inner right thigh, reach both arms up and fold in. Drop your left armpit, left side torso a little bit, flex your right toes. and release that. Now, let's bend the right knee so the right shin kind of comes across the front of your mat, and then drop your left knee into the bottom of your right foot. So you got two, almost two angles, kind of. Now, I want you to start by putting your right hand outside your right hip and reaching your left arm up. So you get a little twist through your low back. Sweep your left arm forward, put your left hand behind your left hip and reach your right arm up and lean back a bit. Sweep the right hand, right hand down, left arm reach, and switch. One more each way. Awesome. Come back through center. Let's go ahead and extend both legs forward and lie all the way down onto our backs. Take a big stretch, reach your arms overhead and point your toes. Bring your knees into your armpits for a happy baby. Grab your feet or ankles. If that doesn't work, grab behind your hamstrings. Pull your tailbone back down towards the mat. Try to get every single vertebrae down, pressing. Gentle tuck of your chin. You'll feel some length through the back of your neck. Maybe you like to rock a little bit, side to side. If it feels good, you could bend and straighten into one or both legs. And gently release. Bring both knees into your chest, big squeeze. When you're ready, go ahead and extend your legs, sprawl your arms, wiggle your shoulder blades a little bit underneath you. Soften the muscles in your face, relax your inner thighs, your abdomen. 
Relax your palms and your forearms. Allow your body to be completely still. This part of your practice is equally as important as the poses, the stretching. Whenever I practice at home, I have a really hard time staying for Shavasana. So don't be like me. Stay for at least a few more breaths. Slowly start to bring some awareness back into your fingers and your toes. Reawaken your senses. When you're ready, take a big full body stretch. Extend your arms and point your toes. Hug your knees in and roll to one side, right or left. And gradually make your way up to a comfortable seat. Feel relaxed in your mind and body. And bring your hands to heart center. Take a moment of gratitude for your body and your practice, the time you set aside today. Hopefully leaving your mat feeling a little bit better, lighter or clearer than you did when you stepped on. Let's take a big breath in and exhale. Bow your head. And namaste. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for sharing your energy and your practice, for choosing to practice with me. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Uh, let me know what you like to see in the comments. I read and try to respond to every single comment that I get. So I take in your suggestions and your recommendations. Um, with that being said, have a wonderful rest of your day or evening, and I will see you next time.